my name is Signa from Looming for Life, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable little ice pop charm on the rainbow loom. I came up with this design myself, and it was really fun to make. I was trying to make a Christmas tree, actually, and this is what I got. You'll see why once you'll see why I thought it was a Christmas tree once we're done. So, what you will need is your rainbow loom with the arrow facing towards you, so the so when we're finished, the capping band is on the is on the uh, on the stick. Sorry. Um, and that is the reason for that. So you'll need it in the square position with the arrow facing towards you. You will need a hook. You'll need a hook. You will need an arrow you want. So if you wanted an orange ice pop, you could do orange. If you wanted a lime, you could. first thing you're going to do is take two bands, stick, take two more bands, this, and if you see my other butt, it looks like a chicken foot. Now, next, I am going to pour them downwards. Take two more bands, put it downwards, and two more downwards. I'm going to do this on like one, and then... Uh, So, when I come back, yours looking like five rows being the two. We should have five. So. Okay, I am done. So, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five rows, excluding this one. So, now you're going to take two more of the band's color of your flavor and stick it like that. Two more. And basically you're gonna repeat what you did on the top, only on the bottom and upside down. Like that. So now you're going to take two of your stick color and go like that. And then take two more and go like that. Now you're going to make a capping band on the ends. If you know how to make a capping band, then you can skip this next, like, ten seconds, but if you don't, then I'll show you. So you take this, you take a band, the the, the, white, the bright ba brown band, stick it on, wrap it, one, wrap it, two. So you should see three rings, exclude. Now, it's time for the triangle bands. You know, again, if you know how to make the triangle bands, you can just skip it. But this is how you do it. You take one band, point to the opposite direction of the arrow, so that it'll be away from you. Let's do that again. One, up and down. Push this down. One, down. Looks like I only have like just one. This one. That's how you make your triangle bands. So, now you're gonna start looping. Just grab the bottom two. I use my fingers sometimes. And now, if your bands are like my purple bands, then yeah, to reduce, if if you feel two parts, uh, oh man, I felt that too, too bad, so. And then, I'll push down, and then hold it sideways, so there, there, two, just gotta pull those up, gotta use my fingers, and pull them straight over there. So you should have something that looks like similar to this. So now you're gonna take those bottom bands, the bottom two, pull and over. You could do this with one band. You could do this entire thing with one band, with um, single bands instead of double. But it would be a really tiny ice pop. And I don't think anyone likes tiny ice pops, except for if you didn't like ice pops. So, oh, it looks like something popped. Speaking of ice pops, there we go, I fixed it. No cuts. Okay, now. Oh, no, it wasn't. I'm good to go. These are two of the right ones, yeah. And then you're just going to repeat that process. I'm gonna show one more. Do not grab those triangle bands. 
that's really 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 bad to do so yeah I'm just gonna do this one more time on camera and then I'll do the rest off camera so then one don't grab the triangle bands two pull in don't grab the triangle bands and oops, I only grabbed one I think no okay Okay, I will cut right now and I'll be right back. I just confused myself. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, I just accidentally grabbed this triangle band. I had to fix that, but it was a short fix. So, I cut back to this very last one in case you didn't remember, how, in case you didn't know how to do this last part. You're just going to take this and loop it over. Take the last under middle one and loop it onto this middle peg and let's see I know I have to now I have to go under and in, and surprise surprise you take these bottom two and put it in the middle peg <gasps> amazing uh oh uh oh no that's a triangle band okay so, now you're going to tie a slip knot through the top. So, if you, again, again, if you know how to tie a slip knot, then you can just, then after you tie your slip knot, you can just take it off the loom. But, if you don't know how to tie a slip knot, you have to, you can watch me. So, how to make a slip knot is you take your hook, put it, you take and swing it, swing it all the way, pull it up like that. And then you gotta take that band off the loom. You can't just take off the your thing. Your you should have something like this. I think it's good this time though. It's nice and tight. So now we're going to do. You th there are many different ways to get off the loom, but it's kind of hard to get your hook out of there though. Out there. There we go. Very, very slow bands like mine, where they're like super. Let's see. Okay. And done. That looks like this. If you just want it to be, you can and pull it over to the back. Please subscribe to the channel. Hi guys, this is Signa from Looming for Life, and I am sorry about the audio. I'm recording through my camera. It's a good camera, but it doesn't record audio very well. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Please subscribe. It's a temporary camera. I'm gonna get a microphone soon. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and please subscribe.